So in this video we're going to take a look at creating the extremes for our walk and uh, so that's basically frame 4 and 10 and by the extremes I mean what is the lowest point and what is the highest point. Now let's just move this back a little bit so that we can better see our low point. Uh, frame 4, let's make sure we put ourselves on frame 4 here. And on frame 4 uh, we are continuing forward obviously um, and I'm just going to move my hips and my torso uh, forward a bit. I don't know exactly the right location, but we'll try to get it right. Try to get it as close as possible at least. And um, what's happening here is that this foot needs to come down on the ground. The heel ball is going to be set back to zero, and the foot's going to be completely flat like that. And I want my hips now not only to go forward but also down. And it's going to create a pretty decent bend in that front leg. Now we're not going like down like this, or well that's really funny, but we're not going down like this. We're just going down a bit. Okay? So uh, you know we were previously up there. Let's go down a little bit like that. Okay? Might even move forward a little bit more too. Essentially, the weight is really getting transferred underneath um, this leg at this stage. Okay. Now, what's going on in the back here is also important. Um, the foot is really getting uh, ripped up off the ground. And um, also, the um, rotation that we're getting here is quite important as well. So, this foot, the heel ball, is uh, really coming up quite high. Now I don't want to be pulling this down anymore so we gotta look at even though I'm making that adjustment um, like if I put it like this yeah I guess we're if we continue putting that up quite a bit higher we're getting a reasonable angle there I might bring this and this back a little bit and we will get a little bit of a bend here um, it's important that there is a bit of a bend in the leg here because on frame 5, the very next frame, this leg needs to be completely straight in order to give the impression that it's being ripped off the ground. And so we don't want it to be fully straight yet. Pull this uh, pull vector forward as well. And there's a pull vector here as well that needs to be pulled forward. So I'll keep those moving forward. Um, now, that looks good. The Now that this leg is down in the front, let's just go to the front view here. The um, We're going to find that we end up rotating our, uh, our leg down here like this. Or sorry, our hips down like that. And that's going to have an effect on that rear leg as well, which means I might need to move my uh, hips back a little bit as well. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Um, and also, when we come down like this, we're also starting to rotate forward as well. In fact, that's now created a little bit more of a bend there. So come back like that probably cool all right so that looks pretty good I'm pretty happy with that and I don't see anything else I really want to do with that frame yet uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to start saving this as a new uh, increment so save scene as we'll call this O2 um, now we're going to go to the next one which is going to be frame 10 Come on. <laughs> a little bit hard to move all everything there. So come out to frame 10 here. And uh, frame 10 is going to be our up. This is our highest position now. So we're going to move our character up. Grab that and that. Get up to its highest position. And this is, we don't want to be pulling it up like that. We want to keep the foot flat on the ground, but we need to get it up to the point where um, we get a straight leg. And we're also going to be moving 
the character slightly forward as well because they continue moving forward. All right, so just to pull this down until we keep that foot flat on the ground, but a fully straight leg. That looks good. The rig is kind of telling us what the maximum height needs to be. Um, and at this point as well, we're starting to now rotate backwards. Just grab the hips here in this case. Rotate backwards a bit. Not all the way backwards, but just a little bit. And um, we are going to have, from the front view, definitely have this, this hip up quite high now on this side. And because it's moving forward, it's continuing to move forward here, and it's a little bit up, um, the hips are rotating now, starting to rotate in the direction of this leg as well. So now we can see that we can actually go a little bit higher um, now that we've rotated those hips because the rotations do, do have an effect on the length of the legs. Um, and keep our pull vectors moving forward as well. All right. The, um, this foot here, he's going to think about what is the way that the foot moves forward. It probably, um, it's not going to go like super high or anything like that. It's just kind of moving so that the um, the toe is just barely sort of avoiding the ground. And I've built into this a little bit of a overlapping action so that the toe is staying just, uh, not swivel, but uh, the toe is staying just sort of behind a little bit. Okay, and it's just barely avoiding the ground there. Might even... It's okay. I think that'll work. I think I might be able to get by with moving that forward just a little bit more. We'll see shortly. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, make sure to key all those in. So now we have our um, our first five major poses. Okay, and they all look pretty uh, pretty decent. And what you can see here is you can see the evol the the evolution of the hips as they rotate. And it's really important that you keep looking at those hips because if there is one area that is always consistently ignored by student animators. It's the hips, the rotations in the hips. And uh, it's perhaps one of the most important parts of the whole character is getting the rotations right there. Okay, so this is just going to be a relatively quick uh, tutorial on getting those parts set up. And um, in the next tutorial, we'll just take a look at cleaning up, um, doing the in-betweens.